Why do different oceans have different colors? If someone were to ask you what the color of the ocean is, chances are that you would answer that it is blue. For most of the world's oceans, your answer would be correct. Pure water is perfectly clear, but if there is a lot of water and the water is very deep so that there are no reflections of the seafloor, the water appears as a very dark navy blue. The reason the ocean is blue is due to the absorption and scattering of light. When sunlight hits the ocean, some of the light is reflected back directly, but most of it penetrates the ocean. In water, absorption is strong in red and weak in blue. Thus, red, orange, yellow and green light is absorbed quickly in the ocean, leaving remaining shorter wavelengths of blue and violets. The blue wavelengths of light are scattered, similar to the scattering of blue light in the sky, but absorption is a much larger factor than scattering for the clear ocean water. If there are any particles suspended in the water, they will increase the scattering of light. In coastal areas, runoff from rivers, resuspension of sand and silt from the bottom by tides, waves and storms, and a number of other substances can change the color of the nearshore waters. Some types of particles, in particular the cells of phytoplankton, also referred to as algae, can also contain substances that absorb certain wavelengths of light. The most important light-absorbing substance in the oceans is chlorophyll, which phytoplankton use to produce carbon by photosynthesis. Due to this green pigment chlorophyll, phytoplankton preferentially absorb the red and blue portions of the light spectrum and reflect green light. So the ocean over regions with high concentrations of phytoplankton will appear as certain shades from blue-green to green depending upon the type and density of phytoplankton population there. The more phytoplankton in the water, the greener it is. The less phytoplankton, the bluer it is. The study of ocean color helps scientists to gain a better understanding of phytoplankton and their impact on the earth system. These small organisms can affect a system on a very large scale such as climate change. Phytoplankton use carbon dioxide for photosynthesis and in turn provide almost half of oxygen we breathe. The larger the world's phytoplankton population, the more carbon dioxide gets pulled from the atmosphere Hence, the lower the average temperature due to lower volumes of this greenhouse gas. Large populations of these organisms sustained over long periods of time could significantly lower the atmospheric carbon dioxide levels and in turn lower the average temperatures. Please subscribe to watch more interesting videos. Thank you for watching Scholars Key.